absolute capitulation in this market and it looks like more blood is on the way yet this week this week <laughs> we had 25 trades 22 were winners that's an 88 percent win rate for last week let's see if we could keep the ball rolling i was down but now i'm up yeah it's all god this ain't no love now, before I break down my analysis of the market right now, I do also want to say that I did a bunch of free webinars and those will be also uploaded to YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those and make sure you follow me on X link down below so that you don't miss future webinars. And you know what? Before we start talking about SPY and earnings coming up and individual names, I do briefly want to cover Bitcoin because this is really interesting setup we have here. If we look at our ABC, we have a perfect, you know, one ratio, which tells me that this is likely finished its complete and now if we look at the daily we have some weak right now but what looks to be building to be some bullishness here which is really interesting to see this getting bullish when this is clearly bearish and looking for further lows this is a decoupling this is the decoupling that we kind of got hints of in the past but looks like it's actually happening what's the difference everyone asks me well why are you bullish on Bitcoin when Bitcoin usually trades with the greater market and I want to say and I, it's, a, it's just a thesis and we'll see if it plays out but i want to say that the hegemony of the dollar is dying and i'm not saying that dollar won't be king i'm just saying that clearly there's been some fractioning when it comes to the global powers and global currencies you fucking crazy man you sound insane and I, I think that that's actually being best reflected in the price action that we're seeing on bitcoin where we're seeing that people are wanting to escape what they feel is the collapse of the dollar i've also talked to some hedge fund managers that are telling me oh i could buy bonds and get maybe up to eight percent returns but if you combine inflation with the debasement of the u.s dollar that's 12 percent year over year and bonds are going to make up for that i need something aggressive to to escape the debasement of my currency and so they're telling me that they want to buy bitcoin and that is a huge narrative change gosh 100k looks like it's going to be inevitable heading to the end of the year now if bitcoin does get to 100k it'll be exciting because that's a big number but that's less than 40 percent returns from where we're at right now and as a trader of course we're going to try to optimize make as much money as possible right which has me definitely looking at these miners i actually started buying some mara calls last week because at 14 bucks i have bought them at 12 and i was looking at 14 and I was seeing that I was kind of hanging around here in oversold levels in the one hour. And then we saw this like double bottom start to form. I went ahead and started to take those calls. We've been making some good money there and it is improving. The one hour looks strong. The four hour looks better, especially on these EMA clouds. On the daily, we really need to see a push a little bit higher. We're seeing some confirmation from the TTM though. However, the weekly still looks awful. But the, the idea with coming in at 14 is that looks like bottom come in 12 was my absolute lowest it seemed like a good time to go okay i have a pretty low risk right here i have massive rewards i think mara could go to 70 dollars if bitcoin goes to 100k now let's talk about the price action last week smci got smacked down on friday and i mean it was so fast congrats if you caught it i did not catch it i did manage to catch the video on the way down this was a very big day big payday friday arm i had been shorting i didn't catch all the way down again on friday it was just so much weaker than i had anticipated it's hard to hold a lot of these to the downside amd another one and it just looks like it wants to go even lower i mean you're about to get oversold conditions here i think what looks like the easiest setup and we, you know we've already had the catalyst is we've already had the netflix earnings those are really weak you're closing at near this very key level right here if you break below this and you break below that 100 day moving average you've got some big gaps to the downside so this will be a play i look for this week and i mean if we do uh go to a longer time frame here on nvidia i have a five wave pattern this is our bullish outlook all right and even on the bullish outlook, I have a pretty severe retracement potential touch at 650 for NVIDIA. It's way down there. I don't know if we'll actually touch that level. Again, we can close if we're anywhere, anywhere in this gap, we can close. 
for NVIDIA and I'll be looking for a bounce and I mean 1500 could be a potential in the future you know I had crazy targets for SMCI everyone said it was nuts uh, we I'm no longer a shareholder here I took all my profits but I'm also looking at this as a potential you know buy the dip opportunity Microsoft also has my attention. I'll be doing a full video on Microsoft actually, but again, this is another name that looks like it wants to go lower. And in fact, the retracement here would bring us perfectly to the 200 day moving average and I actually see the same, a similar setup on SPY potentially. Again, I still have a bullish outlook. I'm looking for this five wave pattern to play out. And I was thinking that the lows might be coming in. I've been posting stuff on, on X about how I'm getting ready to run into the fire. And this, this I, I am, but we in the immediate term, I'm still bearish, okay? And I'm thinking we could even come down and touch this 200-day moving average. I wonder if this will come and meet us around the 480 target. That'd be a beautiful, you know, coming back to this all to other all-time high, creating support there and getting a bounce. But again, these key targets all the way down. I think you could come and short these. I mean, this is just so miserably weak right now. I think that earnings are probably going to be weak as well. Speaking of earnings, we have Tesla earnings this week. And this is another name that broke already has broken below a key level, in my opinion. And I mean, we might be headed to the 130s for Tesla. I don't think there's anything good that they can say on the next earnings report that'll make people bullish. However, there are plenty of things that are bullish about this company i'll be doing a full tesla video coming up this week as well if you haven't caught the hint you might want to subscribe to the channel but i think this one will create some great opportunities i have been buying tlt as well it looks like we found the bottom we did not get the price action that i was looking for last week i was really hoping that we'd get a bigger pump but all the pumps got faded and in fact even though the uh, s p has continued to be weak there hasn't been really a flight uh, to safety and bonds that you would want to see so it looks like we're gonna have to wait for those actual interest rate cuts however i'm thinking that this is a short-term bottom and right now those positions are playing out fairly well i remember for tlt that's not a day trade i have lots of time on those you know these are slow macro plays right so get some duration september at a minimum in my opinion uh the other stock though that looks like has an interesting setup heading to this week is another downside play and that's apple we got another new low for the year and basically if you break below that Friday low that we had I mean it looks like you're gonna be gunning for 160 that breaks 156 that'll be another interesting play and I mean honestly this the, the big takeaway you should have from this video is that we are in a short the rip environment and a still overall bullish market so don't get too greedy with your shorts we've already personally I've already made a lot of great money here to the downside so now's the time to make sure that you got some great risk management and keep in mind that i'm getting ready to run right into the fire because i'm looking at this sell-off as potential amazing buying opportunities to really milk as much out of this year as possible